take some running and uh yeah, it's a magnet from the coil. Okay. So hold it. Let's just move this to 20 to make the math easier. Add yeah, this 20. Stop back at 35. Fifteen, need to move it to seven and a half degrees. Five, six, seven and a half. So twenty-seven point five. Twenty-seven point five. Got my wheel set. Now I need to be careful not to bump it. Should be able to go straight to top dead center. That should be top dead center. That's about what it looks like. So, at this point, not really concerned about where the intake lands. We know where that is. I'm not trying to mess with it. We're not doing any machine work. That's 78 and a half. Exhaust, I believe, opens at 105. And then, that's what it was last time I checked it. It was 105. And then transfers, I think, were uh, 1... 122, 121, maybe. Yeah, call that open. And that is 105, 106. Yeah, Look in there at what the transfers are. I think I was opening the exhaust side first, which I'm going to change that. That's probably where they open. So that's 100, 110, 120, I think we're going to take them to like, hold up, hang on, I'm not doing my math right. One hundred, one ten, one twenty. Yeah, I got one twenty two and a half on that one. Looks like they're 121, 122. Let's open them up, see where we're at now.
So the builder I was talking to said set my transfers 40 degrees after my intake closes. So 78 and a half plus 40 would give me 1 you know, it's 120 minus 1 and a half 118 and a half yeah so I need to try and set my transfers for 118 118 and a half gonna leave the exhaust at 105 try a short blow down build I'm not sure if the blowdown matters a real significant amount or if it's just port port timing that matters uh, but that's why I'm trying out different people's advice just to see where things go how they end up Starting with this one because I don't think I have any tamper-proof torques here at home to mess with that Mariyama. That's what the transfer caps are. It's tamper-proof torques. You have to go dig around or grab a set from the auto parts store. Yeah, it looks like I might have a little bit of sealing issues looking at this uh so heat shield here so i'll definitely have an exhaust gasket on order for this thing Now, I don't think I had air leaks this time, but there is some oil residue. So that means there is a potential for an air leak, or it's just 
oil residue because there was a drop of oil on the inside of the transfers when I pulled it up. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to be careful because I had some case clearance issues with this saw already. And I don't want to blow it up. So I'm gonna look real hard and make sure nothing's contacting. Which I do not see any areas of contact. The Hylomar squished out. If I uh, really get paranoid, I'll go back in it with three bond. But I need to wipe this down. Pull the ring out, wipe the top of the piston. Double check the numbers that, uh, that were suggested to me. And get to marking everything out. Cylinder hasn't wore in yet at all either. Alright, that's nice and clean. And if this doesn't really work out for whatever reason, then uh, probably just run up the exhaust a couple degrees and see where that puts me. It's 78 and a half plus 40 is 118 and a half. That's what was suggested to me. Let's time the transfers 40 degrees after the intake. That's what I'm going to go for.
that's going to give me like 13 and a half degrees of blowdown, I think. 105 to 118. So sub-15 degree numbers. See how it goes. Pull this intake boot off of here. Just save time. I think I set it down to goop. No. No. Alright, I'll just run two bolts in here. I moved my wheel there. Make sure that that's bottom dead center. Didn't do it. All right, one eighteen. Where's one eighteen? Gonna spin it backwards. Here's ninety, one hundred, one ten, one twenty. All right, there's one eighteen. 
I did that right. I pull the cylinder off. And the ring is going to be sitting there right above where the transfer is currently located. And looks like we got a winner. If it'll focus down in there. It ain't gonna cooperate today. But ring sitting there right past transfers. So get them marked out. Set the saw to the side and then I'll start grinding. Go. And from the factory, this saw had like 17 degrees of blowdown or something. It was short. Again, I'm not sure quite how much the actual blowdown number matters. Uh, or if it's more in the timing of when the ports open and how long they're open and all of that. I'm not easiest way to put it is I'm not a chef here. I'm just following a recipe. And I tore the snot out of that gasket. So I gotta get them too. So this one ain't gonna ain't gonna run today. So those gaskets have been off of here like three times, so they've probably been fine. They were fine the last time. I'll probably have gaskets by Wednesday, so that's not the end of the world. Just means I ain't gonna get to play with it today. Yeah, and then worry about either of them anymore. All right, what are we gonna do here? Sharpie marker. Might as well just throw a fresh ring on in it if I gotta order all my gaskets anyway. Exhaust, transfer caps, throw a ring in there. Make sure everything's right. Yeah, let's see if we can get the light to hit it right. You kind of see the black line in there below where the transfer ports are. Can you see it through here? Maybe. 
with the exhaust. Anyway, one of them, the bevel is already there, so I got my transfers ground uneven anyway, so we'll just try to match one side. I'll just try and get them all straightened out. All right.